In this GIMP Beginner's Guide, I'll show you how you can reduce a colour cast on a photo. Now I've already placed a couple of photos on my desktop, so I'll simply drag one over and drop it in the image window. Now I'm going to go up to the top right corner of the image window and click on the little zoom button. That will zoom my image up to fill the window. Now I'm going to work on a copy of this image, so before I start, I go to the bottom of the Layers panel and I click on the button that says Create a Duplicate of the Layer. Now to remove the colour cast on it, I click on Colours in the menu bar and come down and click on Colour Temperature. In the dialog box, I make sure that Preview is checked and then I click on Split View. Now with Split View, only half of the image will change. The other half remains unchanged until you click on OK to confirm it. Now I'm going to work in the intended temperature section. So I place my cursor over the slider and I need my cursor to look like an upward pointing arrow. So I move it around a little until it does look like an upward pointing arrow. Now this photo has got a really warm cast on it, so I need to cool it down a bit. So I'm going to drag that slider to the left. And as I drag it, I'm watching my photo and I'm looking at his face. And when I think it looks about as natural as it possible, I'll release the mouse button and click on OK. Now I think that looks pretty good, but to check it, I'm going to go to the Layers panel and click on the eye on that edited layer. That will hide the layer so that I can see the original layer which is below it. And then I'll click where the eye was to reveal the layer again. And I think that's quite an improvement. Now at this stage you could export it as a new image or photo, but I'm not. I'm simply going to close the project and discard the changes. And I'll drag over another photo. And again I'm going to zoom it up to fill the image window and I'm going to create a copy to work on. Then I click on Colours in the menu bar and Colour Temperature. I'll click on Split View again and then go and drag the slider in the Intended Temperature section. Now this is a very blue photo, so it's very cold, so I need to warm it up, which means that I'm going to drag the slider to the right. And I'm actually going to drag it up as far as it'll go. And click on OK. Now that photo is still quite dishwashy. So I click on Colours again. And come down and click on Curves. Now in the Curves dialog box, I've got a straight line on the graph. And I'm going to alter that line by dragging it up or down in certain points. So first I'm going to start here, put my cursor on the line, hold down the mouse button and I'm going to drag it down a little. And you'll see that brightens them up a bit. Then I'm going to go further up, put my cursor on it again and this time I'm dragging up a little. I'm creating a curve. Now every photo is different and you're going to have to play with the curves to get what you want, but I quite like that. So I'm going to accept it by clicking on OK. And now I'll go to the Layers panel and I'll click on the eye on the edited layer to reveal the original 
and I'll click on the eye again to see the edited version. Again, that's quite a big improvement. So I'll close that project and show you the last photo. And again, I'll zoom it up and I'll copy it. Now this is a really bad photo. I know that the wall behind this picture is an orange-brown colour. So this time I'm going to click on colours and colour temperature again. And I'm going to drag the intended temperature slider all the way that it will go and then click OK. Now that didn't make a lot of difference because the photo is so bad. So this time I'm simply going to click on filters and repeat color temperature. And I'll do that again. Filters and repeat color temperature. And now it's nearly to the right color. So I'll go back and click on colors in the menu bar and color temperature and then I'll click on split view and now I'm going to drag the slider to where I think the right color is. And I think that's about it there. So I'll click OK. And again, I'll check it. I'll go to the layers panel and click on the eye in that edited layer. And this was the original. And this is the edited version. So again, a vast improvement. So I hope that that made sense. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up so I know. But if you've got any problems or suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment.